Welcome back to Apaya Puzzles, everybody. And today I'm going to be looking at another puzzle from Out of Left Field Cryptics, um, otherwise known as Joshua Cosman and Henry Picciotto, uh, two brilliant setters from the USA who uh, thankfully don't lean too heavily on Americanisms in their cluing, uh, or indeed their answers. Um, difficulty would be middling, I, uh, probably middling to hard. They tend to throw in a few pretty curly clues and curly answers as well. Um, learned a few good words so far. Um, these guys used to do cryptics for the nation.com who no longer publishes cryptics, uh, but their entire back catalog can be purchased from the Out of Left Field's website. Uh, so hopefully if you enjoy this, you might consider doing that. Uh, I will leave a link in the description to this one if you'd like to play along um, and Otherwise, I think there's nothing left to say but to try to break into the puzzle. And uh, we'll start with one across. <clears throat> Change offensive position. Mm, that's not falling out for me. One down, uh, made a joke and supplied everything but the opening. Well, to make a joke is to jest or to kid. Supplied everything, gave all, um, but the opening. Well, I think supplied without its first letter. Yeah, so I don't know the answer, but it's going to end in ed most likely because it's either it's it's made a joke, which would be past tense, and supplied everything without its first letter will also be an ed word. Um, catered, ated, made a joke. Um, don't know, let's try this 12 across. Tell all about seat of primal drives and external facade. Um, may not be a D, but I think it is. Seat of primal drives and external facade. Tell all is to rat. That could be right. Something like that or that. Mm, not sure. Um, let's come along to this one. Mythical King is willing with Minoan leader coming in soon. Wow. This probably requires us to know something about a mythical king. Um, feels like Minoan leader is the M, coming inside a word for soon, perhaps, or just the word soon. Um, not sure. Three down, two cool stovepipe. To cool. Could be an off word. Ice off. Not sure why that's a stovepipe. Um, or out. Dry out. No. Stovepipe. Is this stovepipe like the flue above your stove? Exhaust. Fan. Oh, maybe it is fan. It's cool would be to do something with a fan. So it could be fan, fan off. No, the, the, the off doesn't seem to do anything there for stovepipe. Um, number four, fancy speech has primarily rescued the man like a life preserver. Um, No, five down. A hydroelectric structure is, I'm not sure if that hyphen is supposed to be there. It might have been just from the original editing in the PDF I got it from. Um, well, A, 
probably an A, hydroelectric structure. Well, that could be a dam. Uh, I think, so I think that might be an intended hyphen. Uh, a gent from the old town of Ur, which I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it comes up a lot in cryptics, uh, might be Adam. I, I, I wasn't aware that Ur was speci specifically related to Adam in the biblical sense, but maybe it does. Uh, that seems to be correct, my first entry. Knowledge stifles desire where food is prepared. Well, kitchen is where food is prepared. Knowledge is ken, unusual word for knowledge, but ken it is, and itch is uh, desire, so um, that's being stifled. Uh, let's try nine across. Writer of dog, oh, writer of dog roll who samples the raven. Writer of dog roll who samples the raven. Uh, I don't know. Sorry, I'm on the wrong clue there as well for your purposes. Nine across. Um, no, don't know. Seven down. Well, we're 11 across. Flimsy article left unfinished. Thin comes to mind. Article is V, but where is and it could be an unfinished, but then where is in? Um, if it means flimsy, then, well, what about sham? Um, and what's another word for an article? A five letter word for an article. Uh, with its final letter taken off. Don't know. It could work the other way around, but seven down. Strangely, sonar rubs out long dead beasts. So we've got an anagram of sonar rubs out, most likely. It's being spelt strangely to give a long dead beast. Uh, well, we have um, a saurus in there. It's A U R U S. Um, and this is going to be Brontosaurus. Well, that does look like thin. Come back around and think about that again. Um, 18. Where a giraffe might be seen if a car broke down. Well, straightforward anagram for Africa. Um, if a car being rearranged. And 19. The way we count on energy is extreme. Well, extreme could be intense. Uh, the way we count is in tens, and uh, energy is E, so that's a quirky one. Um, 25. In tic-tac-toe, X's are forbidden things. Two, three. Oh, well, this word here, I assume this was three, two, but it's two, three. So, oh, this is going to be no no's for forbidden things. And X's in tic tac toe are non O's. <laughs> um, that's even quirkier than, quirkier than the last classic out of left field cryptics. Uh, 14 down in New Zealand, a carrier for pipe disease. Uh, feels like it might start that, but don't really know. Uh, it says 20 down. I have I live surrounded by liquor and steak. Well, I live could be I am. 
Uh, not really. Is that lib? Kind of. Um, or im by a liquor. So three or four letter liquor. Rum, gin, sake. I don't know if sake would be considered a liquor actually. Well, I guess all it is, yeah, it's not a liqueur, but it is a liquor. Um, 15 down. With gar or hatcher around, I chatter and dish. Good grief. Um, gar or hatcher around, I chatter and dish. Uh, maybe this is... Um, No, 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 no. Uh, let's try this one along the bottom here. 26. Multiply what some Republicans might charge each other. This looks like a figurative double definition. Multiply being one of them and what some Republicans might charge each other being the other. Rep could be at the beginning. Or just R for a Republican. Reproduce is too short. Well, let's see if that P is right. 23 down. Sh shifty politician concealing corruption, for example. The corruption is missing its O, or actually, it's, it's kind of totally misspelled. <laughs> Um, but I don't think that's deliberate. Oh, actually. Oh, that's nice. That is typo. Um, so do trust. This is why you need a crossword editor to really be careful in producing the, the exact intended clues and answers because an editor might see that and correct it um, um, or more to the point from a solver's point of view you see a typo and assume that it's not intended but it is intended because shifty politician con conceals the letters uh, let's, let's see if you see that yeah uh, con conceals the typo um, so that's that's classy so 26 across um, does not have a P in there. If it did start with re and mean multiply, um, I don't see that. So let's try this Y here, which might be helpful. Interpret, well, immediately it is helpful. Interpret my retro commercial presaging the end of the mass produced 5 4. So seems like an anagram of my retro with ad at the end for ad uh, for commercial um, so uh, so we're ad and then we, so it could be road metro metro yeah, it's got ends in a y so um, we've got two R's, so it could be Merry, well, Merry Toad, I think fits. M E R R Y. Now, is, does Merry Toad mean something? I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm not really confident to leave that in. Well, the only other vowel that could go here is an E. And then we'd have Mead or Reed or Teed, so that would have to be read, and this would be some combination of those letters. Well, maybe it is Merry Toad. Um, I'll just check. I don't do fifteen already. Um, yeah, that doesn't. That's not going to help me. Seventeen. 
let's see if the R makes sense. Deceitful spam involves a French source of light for tanning studio equipment. Great. Um, I'm going to take out this because that's going to definitely throw me. Um, what do they call those beds? Um, assuming it ended in bed. I, don't, I think it's a sunbed actually. So deceitful spam. Rearrangement of that maybe involves a French. That's un, uh, UN or UNE. Source of light. Tanning studio equipment. Source of light will be L. Uh, yeah, this is going to be sun something. Um, so UN for French, A, could be an E as, as well. Sun lamp, there we go. So SAMP is deceitful spam, rearrangement of spam. Um, and the L comes from the source of light. Uh, so, oh, so that gives us a P and an, oh, an A here. Well, we still have anagram fodder. Oh, except that, ah, it's got, ah, this is ready made. So in fact, the add, oh, actually, what is happening here? Interpret my retro commercial. Oh, so interpret is read. My retro is is ym. Um, commercial is add. Presaging the end. So coming before the the end letter of the, I think, and then mass produce is ready made. Wow, that was complicated. 21, small as a prong. Uh, well, a prong is a tine, is it not? Is that in the spelling? Uh, well, that's what they're looking for, I think. Tiny is, um, as, is small, and a prong is a tine, and so small as a prong, uh, it's a, the question mark is saying, we're kind of looking as if, this is a, as if this is the word tine, and if something's like a tine, it's tiny, um, which is small. So um, 26 across, I think that's, I'm gonna back myself for that. Multiply what some Republicans might charge each other. Um, so most likely an L, I suppose, sorry, an R, could be an L. Um, could be other things, but profligate, pro, pro, um, pro, propagate, that's still too short, isn't it? Procreate, that's too short. Pro, proliferate, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> wow. So um, Republicans are pro-lifers and so a, they would charge each other a pro-life rate. Wow, that is rough. Um, wow, 15 down ends in an I. So yeah, that's going to be a dish of some sort, which is going to be hard to solve. 16 across. Touch base with mixed up teen, one who's playing hooky. Um, and T has the mixed up teen um, and so one, one who's playing hooky is an absentee so touched base with mixed up teen uh, so base A, B, S and E is an anagram so touched is <clears throat> is an anagram indicator in that one which is a tricky one <clears throat> Eight down, acceptable test exists on plant. Acceptable, uh, okay, this is gonna be satisfactory, just from the definition. Um, test 
is an SAT, exists is is, and factory is a plant. All right, so this is coming together pretty well. Um, 12, tell all about seat of prime wheel drives and external facade. Um, Oh, that's not necessarily a D, let's be careful with that. Oh, that gives me less desire to try to solve that actually, I'm not sure about that. 10 across, hint at nut by sides of obscure river. Hint could be a tell. Or a tip at nut at size of obscure would be that maybe. Is there a hmm, so no uh, eight across God's period of mourning. So we're kind of running out of things to do. Two down. Uh, that's the mythical th king. Well, I thought maybe it was something like that. Could also be anon. I think anon means soon. Something like that. Uh, Ag Agamemnon. I think that's how you s spell that. So, mythical king Agamemnon is willing uh, game with Minnow and Leader coming in soon. The game with Minnow and Leader M coming in anon. Amazing. <laughs> um, it shows the power of wordplay because I would not have gotten that from a definition only. Uh, wow, well, eight across this god, a period of mourning. Uh, this might be one of their obscure words. Not sure. I mean, sigma came to mind. I don't think there is a sigma god. And why that's a period of mourning, I don't know. Um, oh, one of cross has a K. Change offensive position. Uh, okay, so... Um, uh, yeah, this is going to be a quarterback, so there is a minor couple of US references there. A quarterback is an American football position, and a quarter is a is a coin, um, which is of course change. Uh, this is a Q, wow, okay. Uh, quipped, probably, made a joke is quipped. Supplied is equipped without its first letter E. That I think is not going to be solvable by me <laughs> um, because I don't know which god that is and I don't know what period of mourning that could mean. So both words kind of obscure, that's that's annoying. Hmm, I have to maybe look that one up. Ten across, hint at, well maybe it is tip. Um, nut by sides of obscure so nut would have to be in here I think sides of obscure and then a river mm, still not confident in the, in the eye uh, 12 tell all about about seat of primal Drive or seat of primal drives and external facade. Wow, is this siding? 
I think siding is a piece of, a, of an external facade. Um, uh, to tell all this to sing, and it is about the seat of primal drives, which is the id. Wow, okay, very nice. Um, three down with a T, two cool stovepipe. Um, Okay, so maybe just two is intended. I should have thought about that being two. Um, ah, maybe stovepipe isn't part of the stove. It's it might have another meaning. Like for example, trousers I think can be stovepipes. Uh, so we need a word here for meaning cool. Um, Don't know. Four down. Fancy speeches. <clears throat> Rhetoric. Possibly. Um, primarily rescued would be the R. The man like a life preserver. Well. Wow. Oh yeah. Wow. Gosh. Um, so the man is he, and Toric is like a life preserver. Toric meaning circular in shape, um, roughly speaking. Uh, so, wow, thank God I got that from the definition. Um, a writer of doggerel who samples the raven. Um, I don't really know what any of, the <laughs> any of that means. I don't really know what doggerel means. Um, who samples the raven. So the raven is by Edgar Allan Poe. Um, so this is going to be an E or an O. be really useful to know this letter. There's only so many things it could be, I suppose, if that is an O. Um, hmm. Maybe I should try this again. Ah, see, it does look like it ends in this OE for the sides of Obscure. If it started with tip for hint, we would then need at, nut, by, to be these middle letters. Probably just nut. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think after nut would be. Ah, oh, what about? Seems like a plausible river name. It's got the word canoe in it. Tip a canoe. Oh, I kind of like that. Ah, oh, and this, well, could this be top hat? Uh, well, I don't know because I don't think that fat means cool. Maybe it does. You say something's fat. Um, I'd be tempted to consider that. It's all based on Tipicanu and then this one. Rider of dog roll with sam who samples the raven. Hmm. Writer. Uh. So could a top hat be a stove pipe? That seems maybe plausible. I don't. I don't specifically know that. I might leave it in for now and come back. This one here. Oh, did I look at this? Bean stuffed with a with last bit of capsicum, that is pepper. 
Well, isn't there a pepper pimento? I think um, that is could be IE and capsicum. The last bit of capsicum would be an M. Maybe pento, which is then presumably a bean or pinto with E M E. Unless that is is uh, bean is pie, is it? No, I, I th I, for some reason I thought they might be synonymous in the sense of your head, but I don't know about that. Um, seems like that is a word for a pepper. Let's try this M then. In New Zealand, a carrier for pipe disease. Crikes. Um, I don't actually know. This might be influent. Uh, you know what? I thought about the NZ, obviously, for New Zealand, and thought there's no way the NZ is coming into that word, but it is because, well, it just has to be. Um, so, in is in. New Zealand is NZ. A carrier for uh, NZ A carrier for pipe, which is a flu, which weirdly enough is what I thought this top hat was. Um, so this is, well then maybe I got my spelling wrong. This would make more sense. M with IE was the order in the clue. So it's, so then we're left with, I think that pimiento and pinto now is the bean. And I, I believe that more than pinto. Um, now 22. Delaying tactic resulting from strain, assuming I clear the table. Uh, this is going to be Philly Buster just from the definition. Um, delaying tactic resulting from strain. Assuming I clear the table. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. Strain. Hmm. Clear the table. The bust is in there, but in. Really following that. 20 down. I live surrounded by a liquor, a liquor and steak. Um, oh, maybe it is ribeye. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so I live is I B, I B E. To be is to live, and then rye is your um, liquor and revise steak. Lovely. 15. With gar or thatcher around, I A I E. Just looking for a hidden, but I don't think I'm seeing it. Um, well, maybe a hatcher is like a hen. To chatter is to gab. Could be going backwards, or maybe not. Maybe I gab with gar and hatcher, or gar or hatcher going around the outside. Terry. T 
Terry must be a there must be a guy called Terry, and Terry Hatcher is one I know. So Terry Gubby. Oh, hang on, Terry Yaki. <laughs> um, yak is to um, to chatter. I think Gab is as well. Oh, so we, wow! Suddenly we've got almost nothing left. Well, <laughs> there were some assumptions. Uh, assumptions were made about. Well, top hat is probably the only one. Oh, tip and canoe. Tip, tip canoe. The more I say that, the more it sounds like a word. I mean, I can't see this not being thin. Oh. Sorry, I just discovered that my knee is bleeding. That's not much fun. Um, um, so, flimsy is thin. Article left unfinished. Ah, oh, thing. An article is a thing and that's not finished, so thin it is. Okay, so I don't know that I can solve this. God's period of mourning. I think everything in there is correct. So, um, ah, Shiva. Shiva is a god, and I think it must also mean a period of mourning. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope that we'll, we'll check on that at the end. So we're left probably with just these two. Top hat, I feel somewhat, uh, it could be a Tom cat. Um, it's a cool stove pipe. No, I don't think so. Well, what would a word for cool be if not fat? <laughs> I think fat really does mean cool. Yeah, let's go with that first because if, if it is a P, then we might be able to confirm that. A writer of doggerel, i am be quite pleased with myself if I can get this out. Writer of doggerel who samples the raven. Um, ah, well, could a raven be a raptor? I, I'm not sure if a raven is a raptor. I don't really feel like it is. Does that help me though? Because now I need, I need who samples. I think. Ah, wow, <laughs> I was going to put an I here, I'm going to avoid putting the last letter because it'll cross everything out as if it's wrong because I just put X's in for all the answers. Um, my first thought was pie taster. Um, and but I don't really know the reference of writer of dog rule. Then I thought Poe taster because of the reference to Edgar Allan Poe. But hmm. I'm going to say pie taster. Um, I don't think I can get further. So um, let us check out a few things. Define Shiva. Period of seven days from morning. Okay, there we go. And Shiva definitely is also um, a god. Um, so that's correct. Tip and canoe. Uh, tip canoe. I really hope this is right. Um, tip canoe. The Battle of Tip Canoe. It's a place. Is it a river? Um, oh, let's see. Um, Tip Canoe River. There we go. That is an Americanism. Uh, I don't know how well known it's known elsewhere, but somehow I managed to pull it out of the fire. Um, and so presumably a top hat then really is a stovepipe. So pipe 
hat. There it is as an autocomplete. Uh, oh, it's the old um, Abe Lincoln hat. Uh, and so then we're only left, I think, with pie taster. Thin was good. Uh, pimiento, I think, is good. There it is. Very red. Uh, and ready made. I think everything teriyaki was not Terry Garby, so we're good with that. So pie taster, well, this is the clincher. The pie tasters, an American eight piece soul band. Well, not sure about that. Um, is there a definition? Oh, no, it is Poe Taster. Ah, oh, outrageous. A person who writes inferior poetry. Aha. Uh -huh. So, dog roll is in inferior writing. Um, and it was the Poe Taster. I should have backed my spider senses there. Um, I think I thought that pie must be synonymous with raven. Um, I think I had 4 and 20 blackbirds baked in a pie <laughs> that was playing somehow and got me all muddled um, but I had no way of really knowing either way there um, but wow that was a cool puzzle I, I, I'm quite pleased with myself to have gotten through that in 40 minutes um, and to have gotten through it at all really when there was 5 or 6 words that I had never heard before just in the answers let alone stuff in the clues um, so I hope you played along and managed to crack some of those as well. Um, as you can see, uh, Joshua and uh, uh, Henry, is it, um, are um, never short on creative ways of cluing things. Um, yeah, no, this non O's was quite quite interesting. Pro life rate, stuff like that is just um, yeah, it's always fun. So uh, thanks again for joining me and thanks to um, Out of Left Field for having put together so many cryptics um, and making them so interesting and gettable, even for non-Americans, even with a few of those American references. Um, thanks to you, of course, for sticking with me. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more content and uh, I will see you all again soon for another video. Take good care.